Hello everyone and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jaden Wozni with your top stories from this past week. The Okanagan is currently under a heat wave and Interior Health is cautioning residents to stay safe. According to health officials, heat stroke can be life-threatening and it's becoming more common as temperatures rise throughout the region. Kamloops and other cities in our area are expecting several days of plus 40 degrees over the next weekend and into next week. The people who are most susceptible to heat stroke are infants, children, the elderly, those with pre-existing conditions and those who work outdoors. However, anyone can contract heat stroke if they aren't careful. At home, treatment and prevention for heat stroke look similar. Dr. Sue Pollock with Interior Health says actions include staying hydrated, taking a cool shower, wearing lightweight clothing or even just planning your outside activity for cooler times during the day. For instance, before 11 a.m. or after 4 p.m. Temperatures are expected to reach the upper 30s this weekend, followed by the low to mid 40s by next week in the Okanagan. Four Catholic churches on the reserve land in the Okanagan were set ablaze this week, including two on National Indigenous Peoples Day. Fire crews in Oliver were called to a church on Incomep Road on Soyuz Indian Band land just before 3 a.m. on Monday, and when they arrived, the structure was fully engulfed. Penticton fire crews also responded to the Sacred Heart Church on Penticton Indian Band land at 1.30 a.m. on Monday. It is certainly a, a huge coincidence that our church ended up going up in flames, and not too long after that, the Oliver Indian Band Church went also end up in flames, so that's, that's too much of a coincidence to me. Two additional Catholic churches located on reserve land in the Similkameen region were burnt down early Saturday morning. RCMP say their investigators are in close contact with the Penticton, Osoyoos and Similkameen Indian bands as they continue to investigate. West Kelowna RCMP and the BC Corners services are investigating after a fatal crash took place in West Kelowna Thursday evening. Police say two vehicles collided in the 2000 block of Westside Road shortly after 7.30 p.m. One of the vehicles was badly damaged while the other went into the Okanagan Lake. The SUV that crashed into the lake and its driver have not been found. Central Okanagan Search and Rescue Manager Dwayne Treshnich tells Castanet they have been asked to support the RCMP. As they continue to search the area, they will be providing crowd control. No other information is available at this time, and the investigation is still open. A prolific offender in the South Okanagan has been taken into custody after RCMP caught him breaking court-ordered rules while also discovering drugs and a loaded 9mm Beretta in his possession. 34-year-old Samuel Prescott Perot was arrested on June 22nd after Penticton RCMP, with the assistance of the RCMP Federal Serious and Organized Crime Unit, observed him driving a vehicle contrary to a known prohibition. RCMP say he was driving at a high rate of speed in a dangerous manner. When police attempted to pull him over, Prescott Perot exited the vehicle and attempted to flee through a residential area in Oliver, but when police found him hiding, he was arrested. Prescott Perot is now in custody awaiting a court appearance on July 7th, facing charges for dangerous driving, flight from police, prohibited driving, possession of an unauthorized firearm, and drug-related offenses. After nine weeks and a string of record-breaking draws, a ticket purchased in Kamloops shares the much-anticipated $70 million Lotto Max jackpot with another in Ontario. The ticket holders will split the $70 million prize, scooping up $35 million each. In addition, there were 46 Max Million prize winners, 21 winning tickets were sold in Ontario, 11 in BC, 10 in Quebec, and 4 in the Prairies. That's all for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Jaden Wozni.